today's story is Billy and the Dragon by Nadia Shireen. Billy and Fat Cat were on their way to a fancy dress party. Fat Cat wasn't keen on dressing up, but Billy promised him there would be cake. The party was in full swing. They said, hello to Fox, hello to Hedgehog, hello to the mice, hello to the adorable little bunny rabbits. Hmm, the fox is a pirate, the hedgehog a superhero. One of the mice is a hot dog. Hmm. Fat Cat quickly made his way to the snack table. He was just about to tuck in to delicious sticky buns when... <sighs> Something big and mysterious swooped down from the sky and grabbed Fat Cat. <gasps> what is it? What's got Fat Cat? They looked, that looked like a massive dragon, said Fox. Yes, said Hedgehog. It definitely seemed dragony. And it's taking Fat Cat to the deep dark forest, which is full of savage creatures and mysterious dangers. Hey, shouted Billy, come back. But the dragon wasn't coming back. And you see dragon. Up in the sky. Billy had to think fast. She rummaged in her hair and she kept thinking useful things and found a telescope. Hmm, interesting place to keep a telescope. In your hair. Eventually, she spotted Fat Cat. He had been plonked high up on a tall tree and didn't seem too happy. I'd love to keep, be able to keep things in my hair, but look, no chance. We've got to save Fat Cat, said Billy. Who's with me? We are, said the mice. We are, said the adorable bunnies. I suppose so, said Hedgehog. Well, I have to say now, I have to say yes now, don't I, said Fox. But when they got to the deep dark forest, the tree seemed a bit big to climb. How on earth was Billy going to get out there? Billy had an idea. She held on to as many balloons as she could manage. It was working. Higher and higher and higher. She started to float up. Until the fearsome dragon roared and popped all the balloons. The dragon breathed fire and Billy plummeted to the ground. That's a cool picture. Fire breathing dragon. Now, is Billy going to be all right? What could Billy land on that would help? And Billy landed on the most unfortunate thing, the bouncy castle. Phew. But the dragon wasn't hanging around. It grabbed Frat Cat in its claws and flew even further away. Poor Fat Cat. Oh no, he's taken Fat Cat to the Grim uh, Grimbley Mountains, grasped Hedgehog. 
They are full of even more savage creatures and even more mysterious dangers. Oh, what a shame, said Fox. He was such a nice cat. Who's for trifle? But Billy was no, had no time for pudding. Up, right on the top of the mountain. Can you see? She set off on her own. The journey was indeed full of dangers. But he scrambled over treacherous rocks, leapt over gushing waterfalls, and made friends with savage creatures. Suddenly, she heard a squawk. It was a dragon. Quite a small dragon. It reminded B Billy of someone. Are you lost? She asked. I think someone might be looking for you. Billy popped the little dragon in her backpack and climbed the rocky mountain side. She was almost at the top. Ah, who does the little dragon belong to? Why is a little dragon there? But the fearsome dragon was waiting. It was about to breathe fire and roar all over Billy when, oh no, look at that dragon's face. Is it the end of Billy? When the little dragon popped out and said hello. Hiya. Mama, said the baby dragon. Simon, said the mummy dragon. The baby dragons are called Simon. Fat cat, said Billy. Turns out it was all a mix-up and the little worm who nobody noticed until now. Mm. Oh, sorry. Turns out it was a little mix-up, said a worm who no one noticed until now. Why is a worm there? That was confusing. So Simon the baby dragon's back with mummy and fat cat's back with Billy. The dragon gave Billy and Fat Cat a ride to the party, and everyone was excited to see the new guests. Hmm, not sure they're excited, I think they might be a bit scared. And the party carried on into the bright black night. Cool. Snip, snap, snout. The story's out. I love that story. Billy and the Dragon. Now, I think Reception have read Billy and the Beast, which is another Billy book, because she is very brave. I'm not sure I would go and get my cat back from a dragon. Would you? That's today's story. See you again next time. See you later. Bye.